It's official. Google is exploiting its market power with its Play Store. That's the conclusion a US court has come to. What could Google's loss mean for users? Possibly more, better and cheaper apps. Find out how and why. If Google has to act on the verdict, they'd have to stop making money with apps developed by others. Here are three ways Google pockets money from developers at the moment. First, Google takes up to 30% of each sale. Say you buy a camera app for $9.99. Google would take $3 of that. Second, when it comes to subscriptions like language learning or fitness apps, Google gets 15% of the monthly fee. And third, for in-app purchases, Google takes another 30%, for example, from the extra lives or gems you buy within your favorite mobile game. By the way, the situation is very similar on Apple's App Store. And we're not talking about peanuts here. For 2024, in-app purchases via Apple or Google are predicted to generate a whopping $182 billion worldwide. Let's assume the store owners pocket 30%. That would be 54 billion for both combined. Of course, Google's Play Store should be able to charge for the service they provide. But the problem is, there aren't really other comparable Android platforms developers can use to offer their apps. So Google holds a monopoly. The current verdict could change all that. In a nutshell, video game company Epic, famous for Fortnite, sued Google and Apple for running illegal App Store monopolies. In the first verdict, Epic lost to Apple. In the latest verdict though, Epic beat Google. A jury in San Francisco came to the conclusion that Google forcing its payment model on developers is unlawful. By the way, not all developers needed to pay the same. Nintendo, Spotify or Blizzard games got special deals to keep them happy and in the Play Store ecosystem. What does the ruling mean for users? Today's verdict is a win for all app developers and consumers around the world. It proves that Google's App Store practices are illegal and they abuse their monopoly to extract exorbitant fees, stifle competition and reduce innovation. That's what Epic Games said in an official statement. Now keep in mind, Epic Games is no saint. Their own business model has been the target of heavy criticism as well, from users and regulators alike. In spite of that, Epic's statement rings true on several levels. If app stores were forced to reduce their fees or to allow payment alternatives, developers might be able to offer their apps at a better price. Developers might make more profit. The extra money could be invested in innovation, meaning better apps and services for users. And last but not least, if big apps no longer enjoy financial advantages, smaller companies might have a chance to bring alternatives to the market. This would strengthen competition and thus benefit users too. Sounds good. What will happen next? Surprisingly enough, Epic Games didn't sue Google for damages. And they didn't demand concrete countermeasures either. So there are no immediate consequences. It's all about Google changing their ways. But will they? Google plans to appeal the verdict. They don't see any wrongdoing from their side. Instead, they claim that their Play Store business practices are absolutely vital for them to remain competitive against Apple's App Store. Well, Google's reaction was to be expected. But many experts think the ruling will force Google to make major concessions in the long run, because future lawsuits can refer to the Epic versus Google case as a precedent. And if a court finds that Google holds a monopoly, Apple could face legal battles again in the future. What do you think of the ruling? Will us app users benefit from Google and Apple having to make concessions? Let us know.